Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Ranked Roulette series. We are kicking off today, it is Monday, with a brand new team selected all thanks to you guys and your nominations. A huge thank you to each and every one of you that did nominate last week. Remember the new post will be going up Tuesday, Wednesday time. I will let you know on one of the videos and uh, you can go over and nominate Pokemon for next week. But we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves because we haven't even selected the team for this week. We've had some incredible nominations. Again, going through the list, just looking at them and thinking, this team would be great if we had this Pokemon. So fingers crossed we get them. I'm just going to say a huge thank you once again to all of you for the nominations. Without those nominations, this series wouldn't be happening. So a massive big shout out to all of you guys for doing this. And uh, I hope you continue to enjoy. Last week's team was a lot of fun. I'm hoping we can kind of replicate that this week and have maybe a little bit more success. But the one hit KO stuff is just incredible. So the more of that we get, the better. If you nominate for next week... Have a look for Pokemon that can learn one hit KO moves. It would be incredible if we could have a team of just one hit KO Pokemon. <laughs> that would be so good. But without further ado, I guess we'll not hang around anymore. We need to get over to the roulette wheel and see what is going to be thrown out for our team this week from your suggestions. So let's head over now and see what we get. Alright, we've got a really good team. I really like this. We've got some really good selections. Obviously, some selections here that have been nominated for weeks upon week upon week and they're finally getting selected. We've got the Butterfree. Finally, we've got that Mega Mewtwo X. I was going to say Y. I'm so used to saying Mega Mewtwo Y, but uh, we've got Mega Mewtwo X. I've never used this Pokemon. It's going to be a lot of fun to utilize, see what it can do. And uh, obviously, it's a cool Pokemon anywhere. The Psychic Fighting type is very strong, and it's got that nice B base stat speed of 130, I'm pretty sure. Um, so it still kind of hits that nice benchmark out speed in most things in the format. Uh, we've got other selections. We've got Ditto as well, a really great suggestion that we had this week. So thank you for that. And uh, if you caught the stream last Thursday, we were playing Urine's team. So I'm going to incorporate that Ditto from that team into this team because it was just it's the best ditto ever it's so good so we're going to play choice scarf on it uh, Diggersby very good Pokemon a ground type as well and then we got Rayquaza which is obviously a bonus for any any roulette team isn't it we need all the help we can get and uh, that rounds up the team obviously Infernip as well so let's head over to the team itself we can have a look as always the team is down in the description below there is a roll paste and a poker paste uh, for you guys to check out and uh, if you're crazy enough to try out as well if you do try out <laughs> do let me know what your thoughts are on it though but remember we have got those four bonus buttons we didn't use all four last week we'll probably use all four this week remember we've got a randomizer a legend maker a switch up and our patreon button so all four buttons we can activate come wednesday this week so we'll give the team a little bit of a try out now hopefully it does some good work uh today and tomorrow and then maybe wednesday we activate some buttons to see if we can switch things up but on the face value of it we've got a lot of good text we've got butterfree here it can tailwind so we've got speed control that's amazing you can also put things to sleep it's got the compound eyes as well to boost that sleep powder there got infernape such an important pokemon for the team in general fake out i've given it faint because i've went with a choice band rayquaza I think it's just the way to, to do it, to be honest. So the Faint plus a Dragon Ascent will be extremely strong. We've got the, the Diggers B as well. It's got the Groundium. Uh, give it Wild Charge and Foul Play. If we can get ourselves in a Tailwind, uh, it can really do some work against things like Primal Groudon, Kyogre, Lunala. Other things that the team might struggle against a little bit. Then we've got that Mega Ch Mewtwo X with Poison Jab. I think I've given it Zen Headbutt and... What's the other move we've got on it? I can't remember, but it's down in the description and in the, the scarf data. So, without further ado, I'm just going to check that the music is on. I've got a horrible feeling that it might not be. 
there we go, the music's up. So it's all good, and uh, let's, without further ado, get into it. As always, guys, if you do uh, enjoy this content, please remember to drop a like. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content, and as always, please leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the team and uh, how the series has been for you in general. Are you enjoying it? I think it's, I think it's a really nice thing that we've we've started here and I'm really enjoying it we're getting to see a lot of other Pokemon even though it is a, a bit of a struggle sometimes it's it's a lot of fun regardless so we've got FM VGC is our first opponent uh, so we'll hop straight over into team preview okay so FM VGC is playing a Groudon Rayquaza restricted call there uh, it's picking up a lot of popularity going into world so something to watch out for Maybe if you're one of those world's players, you've got uh, Suicune, uh, Tapu Koko, Bronzong, and Incineroar. So, two forms of speed control here. You've got the Suicune that can Tailwind, and then the Bronzong that can Trick Room. Uh, the Trick Room element probably there to support the Groudon more than anything else. And then the other Pokemon uh, you're going to see to check Groudon as well between the Rayquaza and the Suicune. You can do a nice job there. Uh, you've also got Snarl, Roar to shut down. Uh, things and threats like Xerneas. So, the Suicune's going to be pretty difficult for us to deal with, to be honest. Uh, the the Coco is going to be a little bit awkward. I think what I'll do is go Infernip and Butterfree. Um, do we just bring Rayquaza and Mega Mewtwo? Why? Mewtwo? I'm definitely bringing Mewtwo, I think. Um, and, yeah, I think we bring the, the, the Rayquaza as well, just for the sheer brute brute force that it can bring. Again, the Tapu Koko could be very awkward to deal with. That's why Diggersby might be better over the Mewtwo here. Um, and maybe that is a better shout, to be honest. Uh, let's go with that. Oh, I'm sad that I'm not bringing... I'm sad that I'm not bringing Mewtwo to this first one but it's fine we got plenty of time this week to bring it you know this is the first match we've got another match potentially two matches today maybe depending on time of things um and then we've got some matches tomorrow with it so plenty of opportunities to bring it do not be sad that we haven't brought it to this first one but it would be good if we could get ourselves off to a really good start that's the that's what we want to try and do here uh so we're going to see incineral and tapu Koko come out for my opponent uh it's it's not a bad time to be honest to uh, switch into Diggersby um, like honestly uh, and we could fake out the Incineroar because um, I imagine the, the Tapu Koko will go into the, the Butterfree here uh, the only problem is if we don't <sighs> if the Tapu Koko attacks into Infernip then that could be a little bit uh, that could be a little bit awkward um, but I think you would expect us to probably um Oh, we need the Tailwind. We need the Tailwind. It's just... The the problem is, I see, is the inc Incineroar going for a Flare Blitz into this slot if we don't check it. So we fake out the Tapu Koko. Uh, the Incineroar probably just goes for a Flare Blitz. And I don't really want to lose Butterfree so early on. And Diggersby coming in here can take a Thunderbolt. Uh, because of its ground typing, obviously. Um, Electro Web, not going to affect Diggersby. But will affect Infernip, unfortunately. Um... Okay. Now, I think what we'll try and do is go for a close combat. And, um, hmm. We could go for. Like, I feel like the Tapu Koko switches out here. Potentially. Like, I could go. I could switch in Ray. Or I could switch in Butterfree. Just it would be good to kind of keep Inferno around for later because if the Bronzong's in the back, you've got to think we need a way to deal with it. Um, let's go Butterfree. What have I done? I've missed. Oh, I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could this get any worse? Okay, so Incineroar all going to go out. What are we going to see? Rayquaza come in. Yeah. Does Tapu Koko just protect? We might get away with this turn. If we do, I can't believe this. Volt Switch into Infernip, which we don't take. Ah, oh, this is dreadful. Dreadful, indeed. Mm. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, all right. Infernip gonna hit the field once again. Gets an Intimidate off. I can't believe I just did that. Um, 
Do we bring in Diggersby or Rayquaza? Probably Diggersby. We've got to contend with the fake out now, which is the, the big problem, I think, for us. Uh, we'll protect, we'll just double protect, I think, here, because we've got to try and get a Tailwind up, I feel, at this point. And I, I, I'm pretty sure if you're my opponent, you want to try and deal with the Diggersby before uh, it can take down the Incineroar. There's a Dragon Ascent. It's into Butterfree, though, which is interesting. Um, okay. I'm not really worried about Incineroar right now. I'm going to go for a foul play into Rayquaza, and I'm going to try and set up the Tailwind here. Because I think the Incineroar goes into the Butterfree. We'd probably see a Dragon Ascent into Diggersby. Um... It's going to be... Okay, Rayquaza are going to actually withdraw. So my opponent giving us a bit of room here, actually. Um, let's see how much this does. It's not bad. It breaks a potential Sash and we do get the Tailwind up, which is good. I think the Terrain's going to run out as well now. So if we see a Flare Blitz, it's going to be a U-turn. That's still fine. Because now we're going to have uh, access to our Sleep Powder, which is ideal. Okay. Okay, Groudon. Perfect. I mean, ideal. Especially if the, the terrain runs out, you know. Because um, we can just put uh, the Groudon to sleep. And, yeah, I think Earthquake. Although we probably see mm, the Incineroar come in. Possibly. And the, the Electric Chain's got one more turn. Okay, this is the last turn. But, I mean... As an earthquake, it will take down Tabu Koko, for sure. And we could just, we could air slash into the Groudon, just to try and get a flinch. I think the Groudon protects though. Uh, yeah, Tabu Koko going to withdraw, we're going to see Cineral hit the field. Um, I don't think the earthquake will take down Incineroar, but it should, should do some nice damage now. Um, but we really need to start kind of Picking up uh, some knockouts and keeping the pressure on here. It's intimidated. It's not bad. It doesn't proc the berry. Uh, we need this air slash to flinch the Groudon. Come on, flinch squad. Let's do this. Come on. Ah. Okay. Well, that's not too bad because, I mean, Diggersby will be able to... Uh, oh, just about, just about. The electric train does disappear. We've got fake out to contend with now. Um. Yeah, I think we just... Oh, it's a little bit awkward for us to, um... Hmm. Because how many turns of Tailwind have we got left? We need to kind of... Oh, we got two turns. Okay. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get another Tailwind up. That's the problem. Like, I kind of want to go protect with Diggersby here and then get Rayquaza onto the field. I don't know what to lock into. We could have just double protected as well. That's the other thing we could have went for. Uh, Groudon's going to switch out. Going to see Tapu Coco hit the field again. Okay. I wonder if we can get the Coco with an extreme speed from this range. I reckon we could, you know. Are we going to see a U-turn from the Incineroar? That would be... Oh, it's a fake out. Yeah, okay. Into Digger Speed. Okay. So, um, I think we extreme speed. Uh, 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 hmm. I can't. I really want to. Um, I really want to file play the Incineroar slot because I feel like the Incineroar switches out to Rayquaza, and I think the Coco probably protects here. But if we can get the Rayquaza on the switch with foul play, that would be incredible. I, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna commit to it, and I'm gonna go for that extreme speed into Coco. Oh, we're not gonna see any switches. Oh, it's so. Oh, this is annoying. Oh, oh man. Oh no. I don't like this. No. Ah. Oh, ah. Oh, why did we do that? <laughs> 
He could have just earthquake. It would have been fine. Unless this takes it out somehow. I doubt it though. No. And now we pocket berry. <sighs> right. Crunch. Wow. Never seen a crunch in Cinderella. I mean, we get Butterfree back in, right? And we can extreme speed Coco, Air Slash, Cinderella. Hope we get a flinch there. Um, but we've kind of got to beat everything with. How many turns now have we got for the electric terrain? Three. Too many, I feel. Um, Air Slash. I feel like we've got to we've got to try and get the flinch on Incineroar here because otherwise and we do pick up the knockout on Coco which is good. Come on, flinch, please. Get the flinch. Mm, I don't know if we can like win this one now to be honest. Cuz I think the opposing ray comes in and just dragging a sense us. Yeah. Like, if it was just Incineroar and Groudon, I think we'd be fine, but... Uh, okay, and Groudon coming back in. Um, I mean, what does Groudon do here? I don't know if we get the Groudon with an extreme speed, that's a thing. We can definitely get the Incineroar, uh, which could... We'll go for that. And then we've got the Rayquaza to come in. Fire Punch. Mm. Yeah. And it's like if it wasn't full health, it, I think it would be different. Ah, oh, that's so frustrating. That, like we've made a few like hiccups definitely in this match, and um, I think if we hadn't done this one, feels like it could have been one that we could have won. Um, I think the the earthquake with Diggers B was like we shouldn't have over predicted when we did there, and we got a little bit bitten for it. So I mean, it's just one of them things that does happen sometimes. And in the best of one, you get punished a lot more than you do. You know, it's on extreme speed as well, huh? Ah, the five punch extreme speed gonna be enough. There we go. Yes. Maybe we. I wonder if we would have been better switching in. Maybe going for Dragon Ascent. But then our defense would have been trashed by the time the Groudon came in. So we'd probably take more from a Fire Punch. Uh, it was definitely a winnable match. Good game to my opponent for sure. Um, definitely one we could have won, I think, if we just made a few different, um, different decisions throughout. And that's just. Yeah, like I say, best of one, sometimes that's how it goes. Bit of a shame, but we'll hop over to our main screen. And uh, we'll get on with our next one. Hopefully it doesn't take too long to find our next opponent. Um, and hopefully we can bring the Ditto to our next game. Because the Ditto, let's go Gladian as well for our next track. We were above 1500 for the first time in forever after the stream as well. We managed to climb and claw our way back up. And I was thinking, wow, we could stay on top of it this week. It'll be good. We'll be able to do it. But kicking off with a loss, it's fine. You know, it's it's good old-fashioned roulette-like tradition to do that. We've got an next opponent, so let's see what we're going up against now. Okay, so we got Sergio as our next opponent playing a team of ho -Oh, Tapu Fini, Ampharos, Ferrothorn, Incineroar and Xerneas. So Xerneas, ho -Oh, as the restricted combination here. Really interesting combination that we very rarely see in the Ultra series. Got support and options there with the Tapu Fini, gonna provide some sort of speed control there. ho -Oh's probably got Tailwind to support everything. You've got a Trick Room check in the Ferrothorn, um, possibly Mega Ampharos, which you would normally see as a Trick Room Pokemon, but there's no Trick Room option here for my opponent. Uh, I think Ditto actually is a pretty good option here for us. Um, and I think one I would potentially like to, to, to bring in the back for sure. I, I think we need fake out support, definitely. Infinite really helps against um, the Ferrothorn. The ho -Oh is really quite difficult to deal with, um, unfortunately. The Diggersby is probably our best way to, to get around it. 
Um, if I go Butterfree, this might seem really weird, but if we go Diggersby and then Ditto, and we're not bringing our Restricteds at all, I feel like this this combination could win us the match. We've got the Tailwind to match the Hot All for sure. Uh, we've got the Ditto to match the Xerneas if it gets a threat. We've got the Diggersby for the Hot All. Um, Infernape can deal with the, the Ferrothorn, the Incineroar. I don't know. Still haven't brought Mega Mewtwo X, and it could have been a decent Pokemon here. You know, it hits the Incineroar for good damage. The Ferrothorn, the Xerneas with Poison Jab, so it does. It is a bit threatened by the Hot Or, though. That's the only thing in the Brave Bird, and we can't really do too much to it. So that's one of the issues, I think. There, we're okay. We're okay. We're fine. Uh, we'll see Incineroar and Ampharos come up for my opponent. So I think we're going to be able to get our Tailwind up. Um, what I'm going to do is just fake out Ampharos, and I think. Hmm. Or do I fake out Incineroar? And then try and get the Tailwind up. Yeah, let's try that. And my opponent doesn't have any electric terrain now, so we can abuse that, that Sleep Powder if if we can get the Tailwind up. The Amphros is likely, if anything, I think, to go for uh, Thunderbolt into the Butterfree. It'll take us down to our Sash, but that's not the worst thing in the world, because then at least we can utilize the Sleep Powder going into the following turns. So there's the Mega Ampharos. We've got the Fake Out into the Incineroar. We'll get the Tailwind up, which is good. And we'll see what this Ampharos decides to do. Power Gem. Okay. That will take us down to our Sash. Uh, okay. So I'm going to go Close Combat into Incineroar. And I'm going to go for a Sleep Powder into Ampharos. Because the sleep powder with the compound eyes, it's kind of, well, it's not a dead cert, but it makes it a lot more likely to, to be hitting every turn, let's say. So, um, close combat here, intimidated, won't take the uh, incinero down, but it goes for a fake out. That's definitely a misclick for my opponent, which is really unfortunate. Close combat taking the incinero down a nice healthy amount um, and we'll be able to get the sleep powder into the Ampharos which is good so this will help us open the door to get diggers beyond to the field which is what we really want and go for that close combat again I think into um, mm, yeah let's get diggers being and actually no we'll go close combat into the Incineroar and we'll get Diggers Beat in on the Butterfree. And we'll keep Butterfree round for later because it's at least now if we, we're in a really awkward position we've got something we've got fodder to bring in to try and get around an awkward situation at least with that one HP or we've got the opportunity later if we're in a nicer position where we can try and get the Tailwind up again if we can get into a position where we've got Infernip out on the field with the active fake out. So we're going to see Incineroar just withdraw. We're going to see Hot or hit the field. This is pretty, this is fine. I like it. I don't mind this at all because Diggersby is the reason um, that I brought it is for that hole with the wild charge. So um, I think, what's the Amphrost going to do? It's waking up already. But another power gem. How's it going this time? Uh, we do take it with Inferno. Not ideal. Um, might be a good idea to bring in uh, Ditto now into Ampharos, but then Scarfed Ampharos, is that really going to be that great? Um, could be alright in this situation though. Um, and we'll go for a Wild Charge into the Hot Or. Yeah, we'll do that. I wonder what the wild charge damage will be like on the the whole or be interesting to see. Be amazing if it could pick up the knockout. Wow. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Wow. <laughs> oh, there's a tailwind matching. Can't believe it just got ah, that's frustrating, isn't it? Our tailwind pitters out. Now the whole is probably gonna go for 
Um, wow. Uh, focus blast. Let's go power gem into the hole and let's switch. Oh, what are we going to switch into? Diggersby. Hmm. Or do we just stay in and just go for the Groundium? No, because we've got the, like the Ampharos has Focus Blast, which is a little bit worrying. Um, yeah, I think we got Power Gem into the Hot Oil. They were the options there, and we'll bring in Butterfree and sack it off and keep Diggers before a little bit later. It's just like we've got to get around this Tailwind first, I think. That's the big thing. Brave Bird. I'll go down to the recoil though, surely. Well, probably not really, because the recoil's not going to be that much. But it depends if it's got like 1 HP. Yeah, it doesn't quite go down. Focus Blast. Of course you hit. Um, not doing too much damage. Okay, we get rid of the hot ore. Um, and I think we'll get Inferno in. And what I probably need to try and do... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, is is definitely... Hmm. I need to switch into Diggersby here with, with Ditto. So we've got the opportunity to come back in with... Um, Do I fake out the Ampharos though and let... Yeah, I fake out the Ampharos here because then we want Incineroar to go down um, to the Xerneas to allow us to get uh, our Ditto in. But I, at this point, I feel like I've, we've lost way too much resources. And if we see uh, just a Dazzling Gleam, you see it's not really ideal at all. Hmm. Oh, we will get Ditto back in, but I think it's a bit too far gone now. Oh, it's annoying. Like, yeah, th we needed the Geomancy. We're relying on the Geomancy to come there, but it's just, it hasn't come at all. Um, okay. Now, they've still got one turn of Tailwind, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And if they go Geomancy here, we're pretty screwed. Is the Amphros going to be faster, though? That's the thing. Um, because we could Groundium the Xerneas now and go Moonblast into the Ampharos. It's just whether or not we see a Geomancy now. If we see a Geomancy, oh, okay. Do we see the Geomancy though? We do. Can the Groundium from a huge power diggers be? Pick up the knockout onto that Xerneas. If we can, we can win this game. We should have doubled the Xerneas. Oh! <laughs> okay, come on, Diggersby. Be the bunny we all want you to be. This is the this is the big this is the big deciding turn of the match. It's all down to you. Please come on. Come on, let's kill. Come on. Oh yes, Diggersby! <laughs> awesome, Diggersby! You are literally the best, the best bunny ever. Awesome, okay. The whole all is gone, we've got Incineroar and we've got Ampharos left. Uh, we can protect Diggersby and then we can Earthquake. And I think we're going to have the game, to be honest. Uh, okay, so we have to protect here. Uh, we can't protect with Xerneas. Of course, but we can definitely go for a Moonblast into the Ampharos. Has just protected. I would imagine the Incineroar will fake out the, the Xerneas here. Yeah. Yeah, Focus Blast. Okay. That's fine. Um, it's annoying that we've got to Earthquake. But I'm going to go for the Moonblast. Uh, single target earthquake should take down the Ampharos, but we're not even going to see that. We're going to get the Moonblast into the Ampharos, no protect there. So it does mean that we're going to get this earthquake off. Diggersby is going to kick the hind off our opponent today and claim victory over every other Pokemon that was brought to this battle and be the last Mon standing. Actually, Ditto, kicking ass.
doesn't want to go down. It's like, no, I'm refusing. I did loads of work in this match. I'm sticking around. I'm going to take the win. We get an awesome win to finish this episode. So I'm so happy about that. We actually got a win and we didn't bring any restricted there. So we, we proved that it can be done. Diggers B though, absolutely insane. Hype is unreal. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. We're going to wrap it up there. It's been a fantastic one. We've got a brilliant team to take into the rest of the week. I am super pumped, super excited, and I hope you are too. Leave your comments and let me know what your thoughts are on the team, what your thoughts are on the games today, and we'll be back tomorrow with more ruler action. So until then, take care of yourselves. Have a great day, and I will see you then. So until then, goodbye.